West Wing Week. Welcome to the West Wing Week, your guide to everything that's happening at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. This week, the president hosted a forum on women in the economy, welcomed the president of Brazil, traveled to Florida to urge the Senate to pass the Buffett Rule, and took part in the great annual White House tradition, the Easter Egg Rule. That's April 6th to April 12th, or this incredible your proof of change. Collection of accomplished women, your proof of change. On Friday, April 6th, the president walked over to the EEOB to attend the White House Forum on Women in the Economy. He highlighted ways his administration has worked to ensure women's economic security and to create jobs for women all across America. When any of our citizens can't fulfill the potential that they have because of factors that have nothing to do with talent or character or work ethic, that diminishes us all. It holds all of us back. So closing this pay gap, ending pay discrimination, is about far more than simple fairness. On Monday, the first family kicked off the 134th annual Easter egg roll on the south lawn of the White House, featuring sports, storytelling, and of course, Easter egg roll. Wild things roar, their terrible roars, and gnash their terrible teeth, and roll their terrible eyes. Roll your eyes. In the afternoon, the president hosted President Dilma Rousseff of Brazil for meetings at the White House as part of the leader's ongoing dialogue regarding the growing partnership between the United States and Brazil. On Tuesday, the president traveled to Florida Atlantic University in Boca Raton, Florida, to speak on the economy and made the case for the Buffett Rule, a simple principle of fairness that ensures that millionaires pay at least the same effective tax rate as middle-class families. You might have heard of this, but Warren Buffett is paying a lower tax rate than his secretary. Now that's wrong. That's not fair. And so we've got to choose which direction we want this country to go in. Do we want to keep giving those tax breaks to folks like me who don't need them, or to give them to Warren Buffett, he definitely doesn't need them, or Bill Gates, he's already said, I don't need them, or do we want to keep investing in those things that keep our economy growing and keep us secure? That's the choice. On Wednesday, the President delivered a statement on the Buffett rule in the EEOB standing with a group of millionaires and their secretaries to urge the Senate to pass a law that ensures millionaires don't pay a lower tax rate than their secretaries. It might surprise you to hear which former president fought for the this same kind of tax fairness. another fairness. speech where he said it was crazy, uh, that's a quote, that certain tax loopholes make it possible for multimillionaires to pay nothing while a bus driver was paying 10 percent of his salary. Uh, that wild-eyed socialist tax-hiking class warrior uh, was Ronald Reagan. Later, the president joined a conference call from the Oval Office and spoke with thousands of AmeriCorps and Senior Corps volunteers to thank them for their service and welcome the new CEO of the Corporation for National and Community Service, Wendy Spencer. On Thursday, the president continued to make the case for the Buffett Rule in interviews with four local television anchors from Cedar Rapids, Iowa, Columbus, Ohio, Reno, Nevada, in St. Louis, Missouri, sending an appeal to the senators from those states to support the proposal when it comes to the floor of the Senate on Monday. Great to be here at the home. To find out more information on any of these topics or to see complete videos of these events, go to whitehouse.gov. And thanks again for checking out your West Virginia. It's a It's a native to Florida. And there's a lot of yes. Are there a lot of them? Do you see them? Fighting owls. 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 F